All right, Shalom, Israel. Back with another GMS on the go. I'm Brother Nakam. Before I go any further, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to my Holy Spirit Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Ba Shimei Awashah. Next up, double honors to the apostles of other great millstone for teaching us this 100% truth of the Bible. And all you should say, Aquas, about the four corners of the earth. Keep pushing. And we're going to dive right into it. This is Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. And it reads Trust in Yahweh with all thy heart. And lean not unto thy own understanding. Right. It said, trust in Yahweh with all thy heart. And lean not unto thy own understanding. And heart goes back to the Hebrew word, Allah, which means your mind. So we're going to trust in the Most High with all our mind, you know. Because you can't trust in the Most High with your heart, you know. Your heart is just a muscle. It just pumps blood. It doesn't think. You think with your mind. So when you trust in somebody, you know, you, you, think, with, you think about it, you know. That's where you have all your thoughts at. So we trust Yahweh with all our mind, you know. But the only ones who are going to trust in Yahweh with all that mind is the the hopeful elect. Lord is where I pray to some of those men. Start with the apostles and other great millstone to the men on down. Because two-thirds, they're going to lean into their own understanding. And they're not going to trust in the Most High, you know. So we trust in the Most High, you know. We trust in the Most High with all our mind that he's going to he, He's going to bring us through all our trials and tribulations, you know. We're not going to lean into our own understanding. You know, because if you lean onto your own understanding, then you can't trust the most high. But if you trust the most high, then you're not going to lean onto your own understanding, you know. And once again, heart goes back to the Hebrew word law, which means your mind. And, it's, and, and, and your heart, and once again, it's not talking about your heart and your chest. Because the heart and your chest is just a muscle. It pumps blood. You don't have any thoughts. You have all your thoughts in your head. That's what you think it. So it's talking about your mind, you know. So I'm going to read that one more time. This is Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in your howl with all thy heart and lean not into thy own understanding. So don't lean onto your own understanding. Because when you lean onto your own understanding, you, you tend to go off. So that's why you got to trust in the most high to direct your paths. You got to trust in the most high. You know? And we're going to get a precept of why you shouldn't lean onto your own understanding. This is Proverbs chapter 28, verse 26, and it reads, He that trusteth in his own heart is a fool. Right, so it says, He that trusteth in his own heart is a fool. We already know the fool is talking to so, two-thirds so-called blacks, Latino named Americans. Y'all are fools because y'all trust in your own heart, you know? And Proverbs 3 and 5 just said, Trust in your heart with all thy heart, and lean not to your own understanding. So two-thirds, y'all trust in your own heart. Which is which, which which heart goes back to the Hebrew word life with your mind and y'all lean onto your own understanding. Really? Y'all lean onto your own understanding, which is your mind. So y'all are fools because y'all lean onto your own understanding. Y'all are fools because you trust in your own heart, which is your mind. You know? You're not supposed to trust in your own heart or lean on to your own you're not and you're not supposed to lean onto your own understanding. You know? That's why it just said back in Proverbs three and five, trust in your how, you know. He's trying to show you that when you lean into your own understanding and you, and you trust in your heart, you're going to go off. You know? You're going to go off if you lean into your understanding and trust in your heart. So you got to trust in the most high. But two-thirds don't want to do that. You know? So that's that's why, that's since y'all don't want to um, trust in the most high, you know, you want to lean into your own understanding. That's why the most high call on um, two-thirds so-called blacks, I tell them they're Americans, fools. Because y'all trust in your heart, your own mind. You know? But it reads on. But whoso walketh wisely, he shall be delivered. So the one that's going to be delivered, you know, is the hopeful elect. Lord's will, I pray that with some of those men. Start with the apostles and the other great millstone to the men on down. Lord's will, we'll be, we'll be the men to be delivered, you know. Because we're walking wisely. We're not trusting our own heart, you know, which is our mind. You know, we're not leaning to our own understanding, you know. We trust in your power. Because we want to be delivered, you know. Two-thirds don't. That's why they're fools. Because they trust in their own heart and lean on, and they lean onto their own understanding, you know. And we're gonna get another precept of why you shouldn't lean onto your understanding or trust in your own heart, you know. This is Jeremiah chapter seventeen, verse nine. The heart is deceitful above all things, right? It said the heart coming from the Hebrew word lie, which means your mind. The heart is deceitful above all things. See, your heart is deceitful. And I looked at that word deceitful. Deceitful means 
untrustworthy, dishonest, sneaky, tricky, you know? So your heart, your well, really your mind, your mind is dishonest. Your mind is tricky. Your mind is untrustworthy. So that's how you know you can't trust your mind because your mind is dishonest. Your mind is tricky, you know? Your mind is untrustworthy, you know? So two thirty so called blacks, Latino, and the Americans, y'all are fools because you lean onto the you lean onto your own understanding, you know, and y'all trusting your own heart when it just said your mind is untrustworthy. You can't trust your mind, you know. It just said your yeah, your mind is dishonest. You can't your mind is dishonest, you know. It's it's tricky. Your mind's playing tricks on you. So how you gonna trust in your own mind when it's playing tricks on you? When your mind when your own mind is not right, you know. If you can't trust your own mind, how you gonna trust in it, you know? The two thirty so called blacks Latino and Americans, y'all are fools because y'all still trust in your own mind when the scriptures just said trust in the most high. But y'all two thirty, that's why two thirty so called blacks Latino and American are destroyed for lack of knowledge, you know, because you supposed to trust in the most high like the scripture said, but y'all still want to trust in your own mind. Y'all still want to lean into your own understanding, and that's why y'all fools, you know. And the reason, I'm gonna start from the top again. This is Jeremiah 17, verse 9. The heart is deceit above all things. And desperately wicked, right? The, the heart is wicked. Your, your mind is wicked, you know? That's where you have all your evil thoughts that everything you think is right is wrong, you know? Because you can't lean onto your own understanding. You can't trust in your mind. Because when you start trusting, you're going to think what you think is right. And it's really going to be wrong, you know? It, you know, when you lean onto your own understanding, that means you're not going off of this right here, you know? You're going off your vain opinion, your own mind. And you're going way the fuck off. Excuse my French, Israel, but you are. You know, you're supposed to lean to this these scriptures, right? This word. Because this is what's gonna keep you on track. And that's how you trust in the most high. When you read this word, that's you trust in the most high. And you know, if the spirit is on you. So your mind is desperately wicked. Because your mind be playing tricks on you. And you be and your mind be having you thinking those tricks are right when they when they really wrong, you know? And it says who can know it, right? Who can know it? You're not going to know that your mind is playing tricks on you because your mind's going to have you thinking that your mind is right when it's wrong, you know? So I got another precept because it's saying the heart is desperately wicked. It said, uh, he, on he that trusts his own heart is a fool and lean not into your understanding. So I got another precept. So like it, Israel. This is Romans chapter 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. So right, it said, for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. So these scriptures, this this word, you know, these holy scriptures were written aforetime. They were written for our learning, you know. So these scriptures were written for our learning so that we would know what to do and what not to do, you know? And the scriptures, all the scriptures I just pulled saying, don't lean onto your own understanding, you know? Don't trust in your own heart, you know? The heart is desperately wicked. So it's letting you know. So these scriptures were written a four time to let us know not to do the things, not to lean onto your own understanding, you know? Not to trust in your own heart, you know? Letting you know that the heart is deceitful, you know? Because if you trust in your own heart, you're going to go off. That's why the scripture said, trust in your how with all that, all that heart and don't lean onto your understanding. So these scriptures were written the fourth time was written for you so-called blacks, Latino, and Native Americans learning so that you wouldn't go off, so that you would stay on that straight and narrow road, you know, and not go down that wide and broad road was leading to destruction, you know. But two thirty so-called blacks, Latino, and Native Americans, you know, y'all are going, y'all, y'all, y'all are not on that ride and y'all not on so like y'all not on that on straight and narrow path, you know, y'all on that wide and broad road, you know, you know because y'all lean on to y'all own, own understanding and you trust in your own heart, you know. So once again, I'm reading that from the top. This is Romans chapter 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things were written a four time were written for our learning. So once again, this Bible was written for you so-called black Latino Native Americans learning, you know. So this all the script the on um, leaning not into your understanding, not trusting your own heart. That was written for our learning so that we wouldn't do it, you know. This was a correction for us, you know, for us not to go off. But two thirty so-called black Latino Native Americans, y'all still go off. You know, we're supposed to trust in your heart with all our mind, you know. We're not supposed to lean on to our understanding. And it reads on. 
were written for, aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scripture might have hope. Right, because reading this, this reading this Bible, you know, this word it gives us hope. You know, this word gives us hope. You know, so this Bible was written four times written for you so called blacks. So I tell them the Americans learning not to go off. You know, to know what to do and what not to do. You know. So we're not supposed to lean on to our own understanding. We're not supposed to trust in our own heart. Going to the Hebrew word, Allah was means your mind, you know, because the heart is deceitful, you know. So now that we know all that, you know that these scriptures were written, the four time were written for your learning so that you wouldn't go off, so that you would know what to do once again. So you know with that, I hope you've been edified. It's been another GMS on the go. I'm Brother Nakum. I'm with the Raleigh, North Carolina camp, you know. Before I go any further, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shah. Next up, double honors to the apostles and other great millstone for teaching us this 100 percent truth for the Bible. And all you sincere, I can start the four corners of the earth, keep pushing. Shalom.